Welcome into week two of Outside the SEC with LT. I'm Lance Taylor from Lance'sLog.com and the Jocks Roundtable. And each and every week, we explore three games away from the Southeastern Conference. Not only will we break these games down, but we will also give you the winner against the number in Las Vegas. Coming off a disappointing one and two, we'll blame that on Oklahoma pulling off the pedal a bit Sunday night. We look to bounce back with a big 3-0 this week. We start the week with an early 11 a.m. Fox kick between Army and number seven Michigan. Jeff Munkin's program has been a huge story in college football, winning 29 games over the last three years, including an 11-2 campaign in 2018. But in week one versus Rice, this Black Knight team looked very pedestrian in a 14-7 hard-fought win over the Owls. Michigan was underwhelming as well in week one as they got by Middle Tennessee State 40 to 21. I still expect this Don Brown Wolverine defense to give Army fits and I look for Shea Patterson to get more comfortable each and every week in Josh Gaddis's hurry up system. I think Big Blue rolls here minus the 22. Next, we stick in Big Ten country for another early tilt between number six Ohio State and in-state rival Cincinnati. Bearcat head coach Luke Fickle is very familiar with the Buckeyes as he started 50 straight games there as a player and spent 15 years in Columbus as an assistant. I like what I saw last week from Josh Fields in his first start for head coach Ryan Day, but I think the bigger issue for running back Michael Warren and this Cincinnati team will be the speed of Ohio State's defense. This is another big number, especially against an AAC team that won 11 games last season, but I like Ohio State wearing down the Bearcats. Give me the favorite again, minus the 17. Finally, we head west for a 315 Pac-12 network matchup between San Diego State and UCLA. Chip Kelly was 46 and seven and five years at Oregon, but now in week two of year two, Kelly is just three and 10, and this Bruin offense only mustered 14 points in a double digit loss to Cincinnati. San Diego State wasn't any better offensively as they held off Weber State six to nothing. Rocky Long has built this Aztec program on defense, and this unit will give the Bruins all they can handle. Give me San Diego State here plus the six and a half. And to recap, We've got Michigan minus the 22 and a half. Ohio State also laying a big number minus the 17. Finally, our final dog of the week, our only dog of the week is gonna be San Diego State plus six and a half. Good luck, have a great weekend, and please check us out at lanceslike.com and Mondays through Fridays from six to 10 on the Jocks Roundtable. I'm Lance Taylor, and this is Outside the SEC with LT.